And a top of the morning to you. How are you puppies? Say hello to the people. Yeah, that's great. Do you like my cool sunnies? Yeah, they're bloody awesome. And uh, they're actually in my safety zone. Look, full safe, that's why, that's why they call me safety tone. Always, straight on top of it. Anyway, so we got a decent day up here in Brisbane. We've got two machines to pick up. One is going to be a front end loader with a couple of buckets here at JCB. So I'm gonna fish that one out shortly. Hopefully Sandy in the office knows exactly what's going on there. And then following that, on the back here, we'll whack a Volvo Prime Mover, which I'm led to believe is four meters high, which will put me at five, right on my limit, over height. Over height specialist, you could call me, I guess. It's not gonna to be too much of a drama for me. So sit back, we'll drop these ramps down, find this loader, whack her on, finish off the day, and hopefully uh, we're out of Brisbane by midday. Wouldn't that be bloody glorious? Yes, it would. Yes, it would, son. Oh, and what do you got there, Sandy? I have a slap hose for Kelsey. Ooh. Oh, Merry Christmas, little puppies. Oh, yep, and it's yep, kind straight. of very in your pillow. Right. Nah, she'll gnaw the hell out of that one. Awesome. Is that yummies? Oh yeah, she definitely looks like it. It's been a good day for you, hasn't it, puppies? So there's our girl over there. Unknown to myself, well, I sort of did know, but there's two buckets to go with it. As you can see over the back there, it's a decent sized bloody bucket. A little bit bigger than what this kid was planning on. So what I've done, I've made a nice little bed up the front here for it to sit on, and then I'll put the other bucket on top of that. Delightful there, we've got a little front uh, headrest that I've made out of those forks, rubbing it up, boosted up with these these timbers that I got the other day for a job that did not require them. So now they're tones and I can use them for whatever the hell I want. All right, let's see how we go. Pretty happy with how that one turned out. One bucket down, one to go. Tell you what, that was handy that this loader actually does have a, a boom extension on it. I mean, I didn't have to step up on the deck, just put it out. Thrilled when they pointed that one out to me. Yes, I was. Yes, I was indeed. And now that bucket's all strapped to the forklift tines on that. We'll run her up, rest her up against the other one, and hopefully she'll be happy days. mover wish me luck how quickly do things change in the world of transport like that that's how quickly they change if you want to have a look over the back there that uh, big blue Volvo was was the one we were grabbing unfortunately it's a non-runner which poses a few little issues for me see right now here I'm in Brisbane that that's going to Melbourne but my loader there, that's actually going somewhere near Newcastle. So the only way to get that off would be to drive that off, to get that off, and then put that back on. Unfortunately, because it's a dog runner, I can't bloody do that. So it's a shame when this happens in transport because it would have been a good bloody load. But um, it's got to get left behind for another day. It's just not possible. So instead, I've got to get myself a bobcat and a forklift and start heading south with that. So I've really overdone all that up the front just to put on two little machines on the end. It's gonna look a little bit silly, but right now, it does look bloody impressive as is, I reckon. 
bloody transport. Never a dull moment, is there? And she's all done and dusted for another week. Tell you what, if you're going to attach a specific year to this load, I reckon you'd run with 1992 because it's a little bit of business at the front here and a bit of party down the back, if you get what I mean. That's about all I could come up with to justify why that is sitting up the front. Oh, stacked up beautifully like that. With just a couple of little ones on the back here, just and some gap too. But anyway, that'll do us. Didn't exactly plan out how, how we wanted, but the trailer's full. <laughs> that'll send me into the weekend. All right, we'll catch us later.